and that's it thank you very much hi there you as a scientist may be requested from time to time to showcase your research projects in video format for self-promotion or for outreach but you are not professional performers and we know that regardless of your willingness to do it this kind of request may put you under some stress to help you design, produce and edit your video pitch, we have prepared a three steps program to guide you through all this process confidently. Let's get started. The three main steps of the program are preparation, shooting and editing. Preparation means to think carefully about your video piece, like who is the audience and how are you going to organize your talk. We will see a few ways of structuring your content so you can tailor your video to your needs. In the shooting step, we will give you some tips to get the best quality of audio and video possible, even using non-professional equipment. Finally, you will be provided with some hints on how to edit your video in a simple way. This is the place where great stories are told. The following tips will work for any presentation, live or recorded, and it all starts with... Knowing your audience! Now, anything you do, do it with your audience in mind, their age, their previous knowledge, their mood. Adapt your voice, tone and rhythm and pay attention to their reactions. Use volume to emphasize, to make things bold, big. Remember that your gestures may complement your speech, but can also be a source of distraction. Beginning a story is never easy. But it will set the foundations for the rest of the talk, so think about it carefully. There are many ways to start, for instance with an open question or a rhetorical question. You can use brainy quotations or a personal experience, maybe statistics or news. Be creative, but remember, how you begin will define in many ways how you end your talk. The middle part is the main part of your story, where you develop your arguments and your contents. You can arrange it in many ways, like chronologic, thematic, problem solution, advantages or benefits, pros and cons, theory versus practice. Always try to structure the middle part in form of blocks, get in focus and never let your audience get lost. Endings must be short, it's all being said. So, a quick farewell is probably the best. You can go with an abstract to enumerate the main ideas, or with a call to action, or further questions. But please, always thank the audience, even if you are just recording the video piece. Okay, so after planning, you're ready to start shooting. This is the second phase. For this, you will need just two things. First, a camera. You can use a cell phone. Please, and make sure you have enough storage space. Then, we advise you very much to have an external microphone. One of these, it's cheap and easy, will do the trick. And finally, a tripod. Just like this, to make your shots very steady. Let's go with some video tips. Tip number one, avoid backlining as much as you can. Tip number two, when indoors, use a place with diffuse light instead of point lights. Tip number three, be careful with the flickering of some lights. Tip number four, avoid strong shadows to fall on the speaker's face. This is especially relevant when shooting outdoors under the sunlight. Tip number five, please consider whether the background or the surroundings may merge with your clothing, especially for colors. Tip number six, avoid clothes with small patterns like tight stripes or squares that can produce more effect on camera. Tip number seven, if the speaker is not at the center of the shot, put the empty space in front of him, not in the back. To increase dynamism, try to avoid single shots. Instead, change shots every five to 10 seconds. Tip number nine, use the long shot for big things. Use a medium shot for explaining things and be closer to the audience. Use the close up for details. Tip number 10, consider keeping the coherence in clothing and complements between different shots. 
Okay, these have been the 10 first tips for videos. Let's go for the audio tips. Tip number one. Check your sound every time. Shoot in a quiet place. Avoid sounds from nature, strong winds, machines, as much as possible. These sounds cannot be filtered out. Audio tip number three. If a mic is not available, get closer to the camera and avoid long shots. Audio tip number four. When indoors, always check for reverb. Avoid large empty rooms like this. Audio tip number five. Always speak straight to camera. All the time. With these few audio and video tips, you are ready for editing, which is the next step. Let's move on. Now that you have all the clips shot, it is the time to produce the final video. The idea is to put them all together into a piece that tells the story as you planned. You may use additional resources, like other videos, images, text or music. Let's see a few tips that will help you go through all this bit more technical part. Tip number one. Concatenate your clips, trimming the non-usable parts. Tip number two. Avoid weird transitions. Tip number three, keep it simple. Tip number four, overlay bench work or other clips on top of the main speeds to avoid a talking head video. Tip number five, Avoid the syncing video and audio at all costs. Tip number six. Use overlay text or images wisely, only to reinforce your speech, not to give extra information. Tip number seven. If a part of your video just don't work, reshot it. Tip number eight. Remember, editing takes time a lot of time. With these simple tips uh, on how to edit, we end this video tutorial on how to produce short videos for scientists. If you need further assistance, you can come to the communication unit and we will help you in anything you need. See you out there and happy editing!